Welcome back everyone to another beginnersjava.com uh, continuing tutorial series. This is going to be episode number 17. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about modularization once again. Um, I know that in the last few episodes we've talked a little bit about methods, how to use them, how to return different values from them. In this one we're going to go uh, a step further. And we're going to talk about including additional files into our program. And we're going to talk about the syntax when we do so. Um, it can be confusing, it can be difficult, but I think overall it's rewarding. So, let's get started. Um, in the past we've, we've used a simple sort of method on uh, including methods into our uh, program. So with that being said, we're going to stick with simple methods and, and not do too, too much with them. But what I want to do here is just, let's, um, let's use prod sum. I think we used that last video. So I think I'm going to actually reuse that. So let's, um, let's say int x and y. Um, let's say int x equals 0, y equals 0. Okay, so we now have two ints that are equal to zero, and we'll do a system dot out dot I hate when I do that dot print one, and we'll say uh, enter a value for the first number, and then we're just going to copy paste that. And uh, oops, I didn't put in a semicolon. And then we're going to do uh, x equals input dot next int. And then we're just going to copy paste that and do the same for y. So what we're going to do here um, is we're going to make the method. And I can call it here before I actually make it. Well, I can't call it before it's made, but I mean, I know what I'm going to pass into it, and I know what I'm going to do. So we'll say sum equals that, and we'll say int sum. Okay, so. So far, it all looks pretty normal. Now, I know that I'm calling prod sum, but what I want to do, and what I really want to do, is I want to make it in a new file. So we're going to come up here to the top left, and we're going to make a new file. Now, the project name is jtutorial1. So when it asks me what project I want to put this in, if it says something other than your current project, select your project. Create a new class. And I'll name this, um, you know what, I'll actually name this uh, prodsum. So uh, I'll use a capital letter there so you can differentiate easier. easier. So we're going to... Uh, to be using uh, a method here. So this public class thing is going to uh, be our sort of outline here. And so what we're going to do is inside this we're going to create prodsum. And I believe what we wanted to return is an int. And it's going to be prodsum. It's going to get passed in int x and int y. I believe. Um, I haven't actually looked at that in a minute. So, yes, I know it doesn't have a return statement yet. Okay, so we'll just say return sum, and then I'll create sum in here. So, print sum. Okay. What's its problem now? Yeah, okay, it might not have been initialized. So, alright, we're going to do uh, system.out.println. And we're going to say the product is, and then as we've done before, we're just going to do uh, x times y. And then what we're going to do is set sum equal to x plus y. So now that it's actually returning properly, we can... Uh, We can do a couple of things here. I just want to mark that as end class. 
And I do th I think that I'm going to uh, to keep one bug in this intentionally. Um, or that's end method. So we'll say end broad sum. And that's end class. And again, that's just commenting so I can keep it straight in my head. But now, assume that we want to come back over here. S notice our file name. Uh, I'm just going to save everything we have here. So, notice our file name. It's prodsum with a capital P and a lowercase s, which is the opposite. It, that's not good form. You don't want to do it that way if you're ever in a professional setting. But uh, I just did this so you guys could see that it's different. So what we're going to do is call prodsum dot prodsum. Um, and let's see, what have I done? Ah, uh, yes. So, I need to make this a public static int, because we're calling it from a static uh, setting. We'll get more into what these, these uh, public and static mean in the next video. Um, for now, I just want you guys to smile and nod, and just sort of soak in the, the syntax. Um, because believe me, this public static stuff is not difficult. So, or well, it can be a pain to manage, but it's not that bad. So, we'll just enter in a couple of values here, and... Oh yeah, I forgot to use the sum. Whoops. System.out.println, and we'll say, and the sum of the numbers is... Okay, and we'll try that again. So we'll just do 20 and 10. And so now you'll see that we're able to better encapsulate our program and to better section things off by including more than one file. And when we actually do this, uh, this run project command, it compiles everything that's in the project. So if you have one error in one file, you know, seven things out here, you know, then it, the whole thing is going to error. And it'll tell you why, but it makes it uh, easier to sort of make small little chunks of your code available. I mean, if I were to open this, I could easily see, oh, well, you know, that's what this does. You know, it's five lines of code. But if it's in here, then, you know, before you know it, we're up to 50 lines of code. And, you know, it, it just sort of adds up like that. The more methods you add to something, the more difficult it is to read if you're just in a, uh, a single sort of uh, file. So I'm actually going to leave this video off at that. Um, I think that, you know, having a short video once in a while is going to make you guys like this a little bit more. I don't want all of these to be 15 minutes long. Um, we're going to talk about uh, methods again and not using this public static uh, uh, before we use stuff and we'll talk a bit more about private and uh, other access modifiers but that stuff is kind of difficult so um, I'm going to be very careful about the way I teach it so the next video might be a couple of days. Alright well hopefully you guys have enjoyed um, and I'll see you next time.